What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where I'm here at Alpha Romeo Lakeland, not only with two Alpha Romeo Stelvio Quadrifolios for the 2024 model year, but one of them is a one of 65 carbon edition. Only 65 ever being made and all for North America. So with that said, I want to compare the two, the Stelvio Quadrifolio versus the Stelvio Quadrifolio Carbon Edition, both in Volcano Black Metallic. See the differences between the two, pricing options, all that good stuff. Put them side by side to see which one is worth it for you guys. So with that said, let's check them out. Now we have to give a big shout out to Alfa Romeo of Lakeland here in Florida. If you guys wanna get either one of these Stelvio Quadrifolios in your driveway, make sure you check the link in the description so you guys can get their website link and their phone number and get a hold of one of these models so they don't have to sit out here on the lot. Now, how lucky are we to have both Volcano Black Stelvio Quadrifolios here at the same time. One in the Carbon Edition, one of 65, and then obviously the regular Stelvio Quadrifolio. Now, if you guys follow Maserati St. Petersburg, they also have these two models as well, which is crazy. That means this is the second of only 65 I've seen. So I've already seen two. I only got 63 more to see here in North America. That means I gotta go up to Canada to get some too. But that's crazy that they have these two models too. So if you go over to their channel, you can also watch their video. I did a similar one to this one I'm doing here today. But with that said, I had to take advantage because we have these two here in black. You can also get this in red. Um, so with that said, Volcano Black Metallic, one of the most diverse paints that Alfa Romeo offers because of the sparkles. It just looks incredible. And again, showing them off side by side was a must. Now for 2024, a couple things have changed for the front fascia. So you guys will see the tri-LED lighting with the black housing and the amber reflectors on the side with the eyebrow and the Alfa Romeo script there as well and the clover leaf hidden inside. You will also see a new grill pattern as well that gives it a more aggressive look. And then with that, you will see the uh, side blades and feed through right underneath for extra cooling. Now, the differences between the two up front will be carbon fiber, right? The Scudetto right up front on the regular model is done in a dark meat own finish is what it's called. For the carbon edition, you guessed it, it's gonna be in carbon fiber. So you guys will see, you can kind of tell the difference between the two just looking at them there, but it does kind of blend in with the black, so it might be harder to tell. Also keep in mind, we do have the kind of guild hood here where we have cooling here for that twin turbo engine we'll see in just a moment. So we do have that as well for the quadrifolio models. But yeah, biggest difference you'll see up front is the Scudetto's carbon versus dark meat on. And when you take a look at these from the side profile, well, there'll be two things you notice that are big differences between these models. But other than that, everything else is the same. What are we talking about? Well, for the side profile of the regular Stelvio Quadrifolio, and it always feels weird saying regular, well, the non-special edition gets these same massive 21 inch wheels, red calipers, dark done, dark uh, finish for the wheel done, and then the monochrome center cap, drill rotors for the Brumbo brakes, Pirelli P0 tires. Great, right? That's awesome. Good looking wheel. But then what if you added gold? Yes, for the Quadrifolio Carbon Edition, we get gold calipers, which you've only seen these on the Anniversario Editions. The Special Editions, one of 100 globally, you got gold calipers. Well, now in North America, you got your chance to get them in 165 of the Carbon Editions. Looks really good with the drill rotors, Bromo brakes, monochrome center cap, and again, 21 inch wheels. So with that said, it looks very similar to the side profile here, but with the different color calipers. Now, what about the mirror caps? Yes, you're gonna guess it. Carbon fiber for the carbon edition and volcano black, like the paint for the regular model. That's your big differences. We still got the cloverleaf badge for our high performing models, as you guys would see. We still have the gloss black window moldings. All right, we still have the plastic side skirt here, which I would have loved to see in carbon fiber for the carbon edition, and the gloss black roof rails, glass roof, because we have a panoramic roof, so we have full glass on the roof, but same setup for the you know uh, window moldings and everything there, and then shark fin antenna done in black. So those are your big changes for these models between the two. Red calipers, gold calipers, carbon mirror caps, regular mirror caps. 
So now when we look at the rear profiles, I flip them around and now the carbon addition is on this side, rather on this side, and the regular one is on this side. But what are we looking at when it comes to the rear? What's the difference between the regular edition and the carbon edition for the 2024 Stelvio Quadrifoglio? Well, first let's start about what's actually here for 2024, what's new. Uh, well, those taillights, they're clear taillights for the 2024 model year. So as you guys can see, we've had them before, but they got taken away and then they got given back to us in 2024. So we've seen these before, but it's just been a little while. So now we have clear tail lamps. And then we have the quad exhaust tips, which we know for the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio because that's a fire breathing dragon under that hood. We got to let off some steam, right? Now you will also see that we have a functional honeycomb grill down here as well with the little shark fin rear diffuser put all together with the side ventilation and the grill setting over there and the reflectors with the Alfa Romeo insignia right there in the center, front and center. So what's different? I mean, I haven't said anything and I've mentioned everything, right? What I haven't mentioned are the badges. For the Carbon Edition, you get your Stelvio and Q4 badge, which the Q4 lets you know this is all wheel drive done in black and red for the Q4 badge, which is dark meat owned is what they call it. And then dark meat owned for the Stelvio badge as well. Now remember dark meat owned is what's on the regular Julia Quadro, or sorry, regular Stelvio Quadrifoglio on the front Scudetto. So you get that, but on the black badging back there. And then you can see right here, it's done in chrome. And the Q4 badge is done in chrome and red here. So that's the only difference for the carbon edition is the badging in the back. Again, like the side skirt, I would have loved to see the rear diffuser for the car carbon edition, B carbon, but you know, can't have everything, right? But I still think it looks phenomenal and it's the small things that count, those black badges. Well, you can see that the chrome ones really stand out. Now under the hood, they're still the same, but it's always a special moment to look and see the power plant of this model because we know that the next Stelvio, which should be coming out by the end of next year, 2025 as a 2026 model, well, it might be fully electric. Hopefully they do hybrid powertrain, but it might be fully electric. So with that said, even though it will be powerful, it will not be a Ferrari derived twin turbo three liter V6. The eight speed ZF transmission, all wheel drive, carbon fiber drive shaft, 50, 50 weight distribution, this pumps out 505 horsepower here in the United States with 443 pound-feet of torque and it is 0.1 seconds faster than the Julia Quadrifoglio at 3.6 seconds with a top speed of 177 miles per hour. That is a performer and has been one of the most, you know, just electrifying and exciting SUVs since it came out years ago. And again, this is a special moment always to open this thing up and see it. And it's even more special to hear it. Now, when it comes to fuel economy, well, what do you think for a twin turbo V6 1917 23? So, 19 combined city and highway, 17 city. 23 highway and of course we need premium fuel so we can get the most performance out of these performance stelvios so it's the same giorgio platform that we know and love from alpha so same when it comes to the cargo space and as you guys can see we have a 40 20 40 split which gives us about 55 cubic feet of space when all three seats are folded down we also have the privacy shade there as you guys know uh, so same exact on the other one as well for the regular Stelvio Quadrifoglio. And if you were to lift up the false floor, you do have your battery stowed away right here in the center. If I were to lift that up, hold there, batteries right there, tire and plate kit, extra stowage, all that good stuff here. You have it stowed away here for you guys in the back of the Quadrifoglios. Now we gotta show off those flashers, right? I mean, come on, check out these lights. New for 2024 are the headlights and the taillights as we discussed. And you guys will see the tri-LEDs illuminated right here. Switch back for the turn signal and the LED headlamp. And then you will see the clear LED tail lamp with a the flasher there. Now we also have the reflector that's illuminated on the side for the tail lamp and for the headlamp. And then take a step back and look at it. They look really cool together. Now we also have the amber turn signals as well and the mirror caps. But obviously the carbon edition is going to be carbon fiber on that mirror cap to where on the standard edition you guys will see it's kind of shining in there <laughs> but you will see 
that it's done in amber as well, but just different finishes on the mirror caps. So first, let's hop inside of the carbon edition because this one, well, this one's gonna get your senses moving because it's the most eye-catching with the Rosso interior. Yes, red sports seats all throughout this model. Now, that's your big indication that there is something different about this model compared to the other Quadrifoglio variants in 2024 because no other Quadrifoglio variant gets red seats. For this model, you get red seats for the one of 65 Carbon Edition. So if you want red seats, any Alpha Stelvio Quadrifoglio for 2024, or a Julia Quadrifoglio at that, you have to get the Carbon Edition. Now, if you want the two liters, you know, like the Julia Sprint, the Stelvio Sprint, or the TI, or the Veloce trims, you can get red seats in those, you know, at, at an option, but you know, you can get red seats. For the Quadrifoglio models, you cannot, unless you get this model here, which is crazy. Now, obviously we have all the good stuff in here, like the leather and the 3D carbon fiber, which is new for 2024. We also have the Harman Kardon sound system, the clover leaf down there. We have the aluminum pedals. We have a flat bottom leather steering wheel, gloss carbon in the middle with, middle with the Quadrifoglio badge, aluminum down the sides, red start stop button because of Quadrifoglio. Uh, we have the Al Alcantara right there in the inserts and the aluminum column mounted power shifters. We have the digital instrument cluster, which is new for 2024. And we have race mode in the Quadrifoglio models. And you guys will see we have a new screen for race mode there that you can only get in the Quadrifoglio models as well with the big tack there and the cloverleaf badge right there as well. Now, with this 3D carbon fiber and everything, you have the gear sh shifter, two track system, you have the 8.8 inch touch screen, all the good stuff that you guys are used to, that 3D carbon fiber going away uh, through the center. So the leather dash, I mean, it's all here. The big panel roof, I mean, again, this is a great place to be and you guys know and love this, but for the carbon edition, you're gonna see it in red. Now inside of the Stelvio Quadrifoglio, well, as you guys can see, we have black, we have Nero all throughout with the Grigio stitching, carbon fiber in the 3D flavor, and Alcantara gloss for the carbon fiber as well, aluminum. I mean, all of it looks just as good as the carbon edition. Aluminum for the pedals, for the paddle shifters, two track gear selector with leather wrap steering wheel, or leather wrap steering wheel, leather wrap shifter, everything there that you guys saw in the carbon edition but here is just in full black. So the big thing about the Carbon Edition is getting the interior in Rosso, okay? So that's the biggest difference. I mean, same panel roof, everything. So really, if you like black, this is great for you, but if you want red, you have to get the Carbon Edition. All right, guys, so I have both of the stickers here so you can see side by side the differences and really what you're paying between the two models. We've already seen the comparison side by side, but now you can see it all in written format. And keep in mind that there's around $2,750 when it comes to the differences, $2,750 between the Carbon Edition and the regular Stovio Quadrifoglio because this has options on it. Now, if you were to talk about the Carbon Edition without options as well, it would be different as well. So I just wanted to break it down in the best way I can. So as you guys can see, this is the Quadrifoglio Carbon Edition, and it starts off at 87370 just like the regular model. But after the options on the Quadrifoglio Carbon Edition, you're looking at $97,320 after that $1595 destination. Now, for the st regular Stelvio Quadrifoglio, you're at $94,570 after that $1595. So, they both have options, but really, the Carbon Edition... The way that they have it listed here, they don't have it listed carbon edition with the extra options. They just have it as a package. So the additional options, you can see 660 for the volcano paint, just like on the regular Stelvio Quadrifoglio, same paint. But for the customer prefer, prefer package, which is the carbon edition, that's $5,500. And that gives you all the stuff we talked about here today, like the carbon and the gold calipers and stuff like that. This also has the active assist plus package on it for driver assistance at $700. And then you come to this side, the Quadrifoglio package is really nothing here, but the Active Assist Plus package is there at $700. So we have the same $700 active package. We have the same $1495 dual pane sunroof on both models. The difference is that's where it ends for the Carbon Edition. 
for the regular steel wheel quadrifolio to get these 21 inch wheels we had to pay the extra two thousand dollars and to, for the gloss red calipers we had to pay 750 dollars so for our wheel setup we need to shell out almost three thousand dollars to where it's all standard in this package on the carbon edition so that's your big differences between the two and again we've seen all this stuff that comes standard on the quadrifolio models fresh out of the box this is all the same stuff that you guys are used to for the stevio quads and it's the same on this side here too but if you want to add a little bit of flair well you can either add some options like the regular one or you can get the carbon edition so with two thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars between the two models what are you guys thinking are you taking the regular stevio quadrifolio or the carbon edition with that limited run number i mean the gold calipers the carbon it's a it's a it's an easy sell for only twenty seven fifty. I want to say if you can shell out that little extra cash, it's worth it to have something special, right? So you guys, let me know down in the comments below. What are you guys thinking? And if you guys want to help further support the channel and the dealership, check the links in the description. We have a link to the website and their phone number for Alfa Romeo Lakeland. You can also check out all the other stuff there. But subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.